The most significant obstacle to change is that we're protecting our turf and hunkering down, right? Rather than reaching out and figuring things out across our various levels of difference, right? And so, like, I know we're not going to solve that today, you know, but this, like, breaking down silos, that's to me what that speaks of, right? Like, that's our work. I mean, there's practical work to be done for all of us. But the cultural work, what we stand for as leaders, how we turn up today, how we lean in and have conversations at our tables, it has to be the opposite of defending my ground. And I'm not asking you to surrender your discernment, right? I'm not asking you to be like, okay, I'm going to give up everything I know and not look after my community. No. Just not only that, right? That and everybody in this room has got a piece of the puzzle. Nobody in this room has the truth. None of us have the ability to see a big enough picture and hold the level of complexity of the circumstances we're dealing with. What we need to do is create the conditions for all of the brilliant human beings in this room to connect to each other so we can see a bigger picture none of us could otherwise see so we can then make smarter choices about where we go from here. Bring it. Bring all of your passion. Bring all of your clarity. Bring all of your vim and vigor for the future. But don't for one minute believe you've got a handle on the truth or that you know the answer. The only way we're going to be able to figure out the complexity of circumstances we're in as my discussions is together. The more we protect our turf and the more we hunger down into our silos, the more we disable ourselves from being able to problem solve. And I want to say sometimes this silo piece, right, is about hunkering down in defensiveness. This is mine, so I have to do, I have to protect, right? But sometimes it's actually because of a sense of isolation. Oh. I'm the only person like this. Like no one else could actually possibly understand what it's like in Digby or in Cape Breton. And we're, we're so unique and special that we can't possibly reach across and collaborate with other people because our situation is really, really different from everybody else's situation. And what I would say is that is absolutely true and every single person feels that way. So there's something also that break, that moves us into silos that's about not being willing to see some of the ways that even though we're very, very different, we have some things we can get done together.